Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about something very interesting. Um, so basically, let me just share my screen. So Sen I'm not uh, sure about the pronunciation, but Sandman. Basically, um, him and I worked on this um, component yesterday and today in the morning to get um, server-side sorting, pagination and filtering inside the ShadCN table component. So if you don't know what ShadCN is, um it's uh, he basically um is a developer who created this wonderful ui library it's not a component library he says but it's a, com a, a lot of reusable components which you can customize yourself and all those things so basically they uh, he has a data table component which has all these things and it uh, you can use this on top of react table basically and you can have pagination, sorting, etc, etc. And it works wonderfully because React Table under the hood does great amounts of, uh, um, you know, performance optimizations to make it work with large amounts of data. So all you need to uh, worry about is the uh, UI and that uh, this comes in there and in one way you don't need to do anything. Um, so basically, a few days ago, even I released this video on server-side uh, pagination inside uh, React table over here. So you can click on the video over here. Um, but basically in this video, uh, we uh, talked about it and basically he had this um, tweet and he talked about uh, how a lot of people actually wanted this. So uh, I reached out to him and said uh, I could help if you want. Um, and we built this and it took about a day. Uh, because of some weird issues here and there but we took that long so that you don't need to take that long anymore by yourself so to start off with i'm just going to uh, go into how this looks and i think yep yeah, this is the one so let me just go and open this from scratch so that you can get the whole um you know view of how this looks basically this it's a basic react table and this is the example which shad has over here as well in the tasks table but basically if you look at this um this is all done on the client side and all the data is loaded first itself uh so to fix that what well you can do a lot of things to fix that but we wanted to still do this on the server rather than uh, fetching the data on the client again Right. So to do that, what we uh, did was, well, I'll go into the details later, but basically uh, you can, if you look at this, say I go to the next page over here, let me just zoom in. Uh, and I don't think you can see my right inside. So basically, if I go to the next page over here, see how this uh, page changes and per page is well, 10, it was in the first case as well, but um, it's added over here. So basically this changes. And based on the search per RAM, uh, this whole table is rendering new data. So I can go to the next page, page number will change to 3, etc. I can change rows per pages, the page per page will change to 40. If I have, say, the sorting, I sort by ascending of title, it says sort is equal to title.ascend. I can have all these um, over here. And I can also have filtering. This is what took us a lot of time. But basically, if you select these two, it will filter a status and so it state checks status to to do dot i in progress um so basically to do and uh, in progress and you can also have search uh, say connect so it will filter based on connect and it also has debounce uh, on the input so uh, not a lot of re-renders will happen it will wait for you to stop typing basically um, so all this is what uh, is done under the hood, um, under the hood, and you don't need to do any of this. All you need to do is basically just um, you need to let me show what you need to do. So all you need to do is do this basic columns uh, like you would do in React table. These are the columns which you are setting over here, and all you need to do is just call data table component. You are passing in the columns and the data. This data, uh, basically the data, you know, uh, fetching and da uh, data and all you will have to manage by yourself. Uh, but basically how that is done is, I'll just go into it shortly. But uh, we are taking the search params, page per page, sort, title, status, priority, all that. Uh, we are getting limit, uh, all this, uh, a little bit of this I've covered in my previous video about pagination. So you look, can look at that. 
uh, we have the offset the column and the order for the sorting um, the statuses uh, all this basically for filtering um, well all this data is managed by yourself so you will have to do this and we have done some filtering with drizzle ORM over here if you're using Prisma you can use that or SQL whatever so basically all we're doing is passing the data over here and the page count and in the uh, over here we're passing the page count to data table we want columns data and page count now these two are the main part because we were debating about the right way you know the good API to do this uh, we came uh, we had a few ideas we, uh, like um, we had one idea about type checking just checking the type of the uh, well having this filter function and checking the type say if it was an enum we will do a filter um, or if it was a string we'll do a um, search instead but we realized that um, it wasn't really customizable and the whole point of Shadscene's UI library is that um, you have a good customizable experience up as well and you're using that uh, losing that freedom if you do that so we came with this API uh, well might not it was probably the best way to do it uh, in our opinion um, but basically we need to pass two uh, props over here you can just not pass these and you will not have any we, you will not have the search and the filter field but basically we're passing in the status um well the id the which is um well you probably have the id over here the accessor key probably yeah so we have the accessor key status over here that is the id the title is just what is shown over here the status is the title and the options are what you want to filter it by so we have these four which are coming from the enum values which are set inside drizzle um we, they will take a label and value just like how shad uh, takes it um well you just need to pass it uh, the label and the value right and same with priority and the searchable columns are this one over here so you can search by multiple you will have multiple input fields then um we can add the title uh, the id and the title again we don't need any options because we are not filtering we're just searching so this is filter title basically um so i wouldn't go much too into detail on how this works under the hood but i just wanted to still show you guys what uh, we're doing a little bit and all this is open source you can go inside the repository and look at this over here as well i will link it down in the description um so basically uh, we're getting the we'll, we're getting all the search params we're set, getting the page per page sort etc and we have this create query string i'll look uh, i'll talk about this in a second but basically all this is doing is for example this one is the table states the row selection etc this is all uh, react table stuff we're uh, handling server side pagination by uh, using the set pagination method and whenever page index and page size changes we're um, well in this case we're router dot pushing the page and the per page or using a use effect hook so basically whenever this changes it basically runs that use effect hook and we change this over here that is what uh, that is doing and we're getting the create query string and this is just a um basically a callback hook uh, which we created which uh, him he created uh, but yeah um so that was about uh page nation the sorting is some very similar uh the main part was filtering where we had to do a lot of this took us a while to get this working because we wanted it to debounce and also the fact that um, all the tables will have different columns so we had to figure out the right way to do that that's where the prop came in the filterable column and the searchable columns and basically a lot of um, well the debouncing the columns the filtering and then uh, setting the create query string accordingly um, i won't go too much into detail of how that is working you can always look that up but all we're doing under the hood is again doing taking the table the table header all these things and then setting this up over here so to use this you don't need to do anything um well you do need to do something but it's a lot less work than uh, if you had to set this up yourself i'll just go a little bit into how you could set it up and after that you could set it up by yourself but um i will create a new next app first of all 
I'll do this very very quickly. Test data table chat. All right. Um, would you like to use TypeScript? Yes. ESLint is fine. Table with CSS is fine. SRC is fine. App router is fine. I don't want to uh, change that. Uh, let me uh, get that in a second or two but basically uh, all these things are just um, you, uh, not needed you can just look at the data table components and well he has uh, this is these components are what he's using in his example as well we just changed it to work with server side oh that was done quickly npm things test data table chat all right um, first of all, I'll just get chat scene so UI library working really quickly. Go to documentation, installation, next.js. Let's get that working. pnpm dlx chat scene dash UI at latest in it. Not sure why I repeated that, but yes. Um, I'll use TypeScript. Uh, you can use any, doesn't matter for us. We're just uh, rendering out the table component from your components itself. So we'll need to install that as well. But say we use. Um, New York uh, default is fine, slate is fine. I, this is inside src slash app slash mobile so CSS. Um, sure, tailwind.config. Uh, that is fine. That is, sorry, that is fine. And I'm using rscs and we can set the components.json. So in a second or two, uh, it will just uh, get those up and running. And we need a few uh, components uh, to get this working with our uh, data table. Uh, so what you need to install is pmpm dlx all these things over here you need the badge the button the checkbox the command dialog drop down menu input popper select separator and table uh, these are what are being used over here you can well look at the components which are inside over here uh, components slash ui and all these components are what you will need as well so uh, let me just install that uh, might take a little bit longer um, but basically, let me just install the dependencies as well. It will install the dependencies from the Radix UI and then copy the components file into the right directory which you need. And uh, well, yeah, that's about what that does. Let me just wait for a second or two. It has reached dialog. Five more left. So yeah, that is about well how that works let me just get that up really quickly i won't show the final implementation because i'll have to set up my database and stuff you can look into the repository on how it works well it is inside this page.tsx we're still looking at a million.js implementation for it um so if that comes up i'll let you know about that as well but basically we're having this task table shell which is over here and that is what is rendering data table and the data um you know fetching is done inside pages slash index.tsx sorry app slash page.tsx so yeah that is done so now if i open i will have these components over here just video is turning out longer than i wanted it to but sure anyways component slash ui has these tables um has these and all you need to do it is to install that uh, our um data table is npx digit so digit is basically a library to get uh get subfolders into your repository so basically what i want is this copied then go into the src directory then go into the app directory sorry then go into the components directory and the data table directory but i can't run this over here what i want to do for that is um let's go into src and components and i will make you can go into the ui and make it but wherever you want to just get that and i will go into the data table component um so over here i will run that command again and that should get uh all those files which are needed over here so all you need to do then is wherever you want this uh well, you might want to get this inside a 
client component because the com- columns have to be set and that works inside the client components right now i think uh, i'm actually not sure about this it yeah it will probably work inside client components only wait does this, is this a client yeah okay um you might want to check that up i'm not sure about it but basically let's have a table dash component dot tsx and have a use client export default function table component return and this is where you will have the data table and these take four properties so we heard the data the columns the page count filterable columns searchable columns that's five properties sorry but the filterable columns and searchable columns are optional all the other three are mandatory so you can pass the data by doing something like this i'm not going to do this right now because i will have to set up a whole database to make this work right now and result basically but um you can look at how this um ordering and filtering is done and get that data over here and the columns basically are just what you would pass inside a basic react table column um columns and you can memoize it uh to uh, disable re-render on every render basically and get the columns working and what else was needed the page count you can get from the data you're getting all right uh, and the other two are obviously optional you don't need to pass those by default uh, you won't get any to filter and search so that is it and uh, you will get this up and running in no time trust me because i i give got a lot of this working in uh, a lot less time and uh, sanman already had a lot of um, you know uh, page nation already in his um, skate shop i should probably mention this he has this wonderful uh, next year's uh, i wouldn't say starter but it's like a lot of uh, stuff done over here you have an e-commerce you have this wonderful ui made with chat scenes ui and you can look at all this um well this is just um, an example which you can use as a you know reference for building next year's 13 applications he had a lot of you know he has a lot of things over here you can use i've already mentioned this in a video before but i thought i should do that again clerk authentication is there tailwind css drizzle react email content layer for mdx upload thing etc um so wonderful uh, reference for wonderful next year's 13 things and he had built that table uh, a few things for that table already we got that working in no time and that filtering and searching is took us a while to get it running but now that that is done you can you are free to use it and you are free to create prs as well if you want um obviously i am not the one supposed to supposed to say that um but uh, i am sure he will be open for the prs as well uh, so yeah you can start using it it's a wonderful use case um and i actually absolutely loved uh, building it with him and um, so f- for more such content uh, please like share and subscribe and i will be coming with more such video i have a few wonderful videos planned for this week so stay tuned and um, um, yeah that's it for this video so goodbye